My dear friends, we love you so very much, so many times upon your planet Earth, you find yourself looking at the behavior of others and feeling your own vibration shift. You see someone acting angrily and find yourself upset or sad. You see someone you love suffering and feel anxiety arise from within. You see a happy child or smiling dog, and it is hard not to feel good, if only for a moment. The majority of you are easily influenced by the vibrations of others. In days past, we often spoke of this phenomenon as taking on the energy of another, but even this was an attempt to use a 3D paradigm to explain a 5D energetic reality. Now that you are learning more about your power of focus and how to tune your energy field, we can explain the dynamic of energetic interactions to you more accurately. In truth, you don't ever truly take on another person's energy. No one can assert their energy into your field, no matter how strongly they desire your agreement. No one can dump toxic energy into your field, nor can anyone truly rob you of your own energy. Neither can anyone really make you happy. These are 3D paradigms based on passing one's trash or treasure to one another. In reality, you are the tuner of your own reality, and you will always experience what you tune into. Here is where human interactions become tricky. Someone with a very strong positive or negative energy can easily command your attention. You love motivational speakers, happy children, and enthusiastic puppies. Their often high vibration makes it very easy for you to feel good. They provide a strong positive focus that resonates with your inner spirit. Likewise, many of your singers and musicians have the power to inspire beautiful feelings within you. They are so attuned to the emotion or energy in their work that you can easily vibe with them and feel what they are feeling. They make it easy to tune into an emotion you desire. Many of you can listen to the same song repeatedly because your happy tune is like a tuning fork that makes it easy for you to focus on a happy vibration. Tuning is also why you become so upset around people who are unkind, dishonest, or spewing anger. Of course, you know that these are not soulful behaviors, and we wouldn't expect you to enjoy them. Given the choice, most of you would rather not be around them. But what upsets you, dear ones is not the behavior itself but rather the disconnection it inspires within you. If you were so strongly practiced in maintaining why our connection to your own inner loving spirit, then even the most unthinkable souls would not be able to sway you. Instead, you would have a moment of compassion for these folks, tune them out, turn away, or ignore their nonsense and continue living in your own loving and happy vibration. In plain terms, you wouldn't let their antics ruin your day. Imagine you are out with friends, having a fantastic conversation, laughing, and sharing a good meal. You are all feeling wonderful. Suddenly, you hear an angry person in the restaurant or cafe complaining loudly about the world or someone in their life. At first, you try to ignore them. You might even feel compassion or shake your head in disbelief. You would likely turn back to the pleasant conversation with your friends. However, this person clearly wants attention. They are making a point, and they want everyone to hear it. Their desire for attention and validation is so strong that if your desire for a peaceful and happy evening is not stronger, you may find yourself giving in, tuning into their energy, and becoming upset. You might say that his person ruined your evening and made you upset, but in truth, dear ones, what is upsetting you deeply is that you have innocently allowed this individual to command and control your attention. They have compelled your focus and, therefore, your vibration. Although you didn't mean to, you have innocently allowed them to demand that you focus on them, in so doing, you enter the vibration of upset, and you get angry, too. We know that, at first, it isn't easy to maintain your connection to love and good feelings when someone around you is strongly negative, nasty, angry, or down. It is easy to feel cheerful when life and the people around you make it easy. It takes much more mental muscle to feel good when life and the people around you are not making it easy on you. Nonetheless, the more you practice, the easier it becomes, and the more you take charge of your own vibration. So, in this example, suppose you start to notice yourself becoming upset at this individual's ranting. In the moment you notice, you have a choice. 
Do I want to let this person command my attention, or do I want to choose how I focus? You might have to get a little creative. You might look at your food and comment about the delicious dinner. You might take a moment to give thanks that you are having a better evening than this poor soul. You might even make a little joke that this person never learned to use their inside voice. If you're feeling very connected with love, you might even stop your conversation to have a moment of prayer for this person or to imagine them surrounded by soothing light. As you can see, there are many more options available than simply allowing them to ruin your evening. A tougher example is when you watch someone you care about, who is not making the healthiest and happiness choices. They command your attention quite innocently because you love them. You want them to be happy and healthy and to know they are loved. Nonetheless, dear ones, you cannot control another person's point of focus any more than they can control yours. You can, however, raise your own vibration. You can permit yourself to enjoy life even before they are able to do so. In a vibration of caring for yourself and permitting yourself to be happy, the most loving words will flow through you to them, and the most inspired and truly helpful actions will arise from within. So, rather than worrying about taking on energy or polluting someone else's space, begin to think in terms of tuning. The strongest energy in the room usually commands your attention, but once you realize it is your attention to choose, you can start to choose love more often. You can choose to turn away from bad behavior. You can choose to witness the good in another as surely as a parent knows the good in their child even when the child is not exhibiting good behavior. You are the masters of your own tuning and even the most negative, nasty and upsetting individuals do not have the power to control your mind if you don't let them. Practice, dear ones, makes it so much easier to choose your own point of focus. One better feeling thought at a time. One small choice to focus on anything that soothes. One small moment at a time, you are learning to take back your God-given right to choose your focus and to feel the love that is always around you, even when others are not making it easy. We know your world is riled up right now. It won't remain that way forever. However, it is a good time to practice taking control of your own thoughts, your own focus, and your own feelings because even with the angry energies flying around you, you have the capacity to be in the world but not of it and to live in your own happy reality, no matter what others choose. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels